Wait a minute. Something. You just you just said said a buzzword, the Cardones. That's a lot of money. Um, you know, this this guy here is a motivational speaker when it comes to financing and entrepreneurship. Um, how did you end up linking with them? Ah, that was crazy. Um, I had got a call from Stephen Goudeau. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. I get better being around because of the, the, the consistency and the motion because it's more motion, I would say. That's mm -hmm. the change because usually you'll see me with a lot of artists and um, shooting a lot of music videos. Now you see me shooting a lot of comedians or shooting a lot of other people that's doing other different entertain more different people more in the entertainment industry and 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 let me put out you know what i'm saying i got a you know i got billionaires under my belt too you know what i'm saying we got you know you shooting those type of, the, the whole type of mindset now changes and now um in me working i put it it's it's more of being in tune in what i do and the people that's around and i'm learning more about myself because when you're around them you start learning about finances you start you know i'm around people that's millionaires and billionaires mm -hmm. and things like that so i'm seeing how they work and i'm talking about they work mm -hmm. you know people be like oh well the artists you know they have people that they hire to work on their social media to market their stuff to do that no they really be doing it themselves the billionaires that i be around you know what i'm saying the cardones or anything they're actually working putting out they may have people shooting their content but they're actually on their phone dropping it putting it on a page mm -hmm. doing everything you know themselves right wait a minute Something. you just you just said said a buzzword the cardones that's a lot of money um you know this this guy here is a motivational speaker when it comes to financing and entrepreneurship um how did you end up linking with them ah that was crazy um i had got a call from Stephen Goudeau. Okay. Uh, he's a fashion designer, you know, uh, out here. He just was out in New York Fashion Week, had a whole event out there. And me and him have never worked before, you know. However, we were good friends through somebody that we know uh, named Cassie. And um, he had called me and said, hey, you busy today? And I said, no. So then he's like, well, I'm gonna have somebody reach out and call you. So they called me and say, hey, we have somebody that uh, need some video work. Um, are you able to do it today? Yes. Um, the camera guy did not show up, wow. so we need you. I'm like, bet, I'm laying in the bed, butt ass naked. I'm like, shit, hell yeah, I got you. I ain't doing nothing. I got damn me um, get dressed, shoot up over there. I did not know who I was running into. First off, I didn't even know, but they sent me to the hotel. So I see a Sprinter. I'm like, okay, it must be somebody they got a Sprinter van out here. I see a white lady walk to it. I said, hey, I'm here to shoot. She was like, oh, well, they're upstairs. So I'm like, okay, this is totally different now. She's like, I'm the nanny. <laughs> the nanny. Wow. Okay. So I get on the elevator. As soon as I get on the elevator to get upstairs, it was Elena Cardone and Sabrina and Scarlett, her daughters. As soon as we seen each other, we instantly, it was like an instant type of, we, we, it's like we knew each other already and it was like a click and we just vibe. It was a vibe right there. So um, got on the Sprinter van with them. We started chopping it up. I did not know who she was like that. I've known of her husband, but she mentioned her husband. I'm like, nah, not really. And then she sent, showed me a picture. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I know him. But as I was knowing, getting to learn her, it was like crazy. It was like, she pretty down to earth. She's not how people, you know, would think of billionaires or anything like that. She's really, really for real down to earth. She's from Louisiana as well. So me and her chopped it up. We get to the event center. Um, still don't know really how, what she does or how she fits in. I'm just thinking her daughters, cause they was doing a um, pageant. They was taking pictures out here, but they're in Miami, but they was taking pictures out here. And so she also had an event at an arena. I didn't know it was an arena because we came back, you know, from the back and I was in a sprinter van. So I didn't see the building or anything like that. So we get inside. I usually when I go to a place, I go to scope it out and everything like that. I want to know where I can go, where I can shoot. So then I get in front of the stage. They got this big old stage. They got a, all the people sitting outside, I mean, sitting in the crowd and everything. So I'm just chilling, like, okay, okay, it's a good event. Soon as she's about to come out, they start saying her credentials. She, she, she in a uh, helicopter shooting machine guns and shooting shots at different stuff. She got Snoop Dogg, it was her and her husband. Big old fireworks, things like that. They just breaking it down who she is. Next thing you know, you got Grant Cardone speaking on her. He tearing up, crying. But I'm like, oh man, she <laughs> is. I'm talking about she cold. Like you, you see her. She's also an actress. She was an actress back in the day. It was just so much stuff she was doing. But I was like, man, you is her. You know what I mean? So she was like, she came out. They had the fireworks. 
So I'm like, oh man, she is somebody. Like she wow. really doing it. And then from there, me and her already had a connection um, and as far as working and everything, but we built a relationship based off on that. Um, but I linked up with her through someone named Miss Skittles. And Miss Skittles also is a, a entrepreneur millionaire. Her husband named Mr. Uh, Zoda Goat. He does Airbnbs. He's also an entrepreneur millionaire. They real have big. some crazy names, don't they? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but you know, uh, so uh, they, she, you know, so um, they was like, man, we love your work. We love what you're doing. Um, can you uh, come out to Atlanta? You know, so it was like, you know, that's that's how that situation linked. Went to Atlanta and then, you know, start working more with Grant because they um, they have a lot of business that they deal with them. So mm -hmm. went out there and started working with Grant. That's crazy. So, okay. So that was like your first introduction into that world? Or? Into that world, yes. Into that world. That was my, that's, yes. Totally different. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.